Yes, I know that he's my ex, but can two people reconnect? I only see him as a friend. Biggest lie I ever said. I cannot hear my thoughts. Olivia! Only knows how to release bops. So therefore, I am sat and excited to react to Guts, her latest album. Sour, a couple summers ago, I was out at Myrtle Beach. Do not recommend. But I was out at Myrtle Beach just vibing, doing my little beach things. And that's when Sour first came out. I first uh, discovered Olivia Rodrigo. And ever since then, like, I just associate her with good vibes. And it's a fact because the music is always bopping. Like, the psychology is psychology. Anyways, enough jibber jabber. Let's get straight into it. Hold up. That was a lie. Every single one of you down in the pinned comment. I have my Instagram, which I'm trying to get to 15K. I have my TikTok, which I'm trying to get to 10K. And then make sure you subscribe for the contents. I'm feeding y'all all day, every day. You're getting content endlessly. So the least you could do, bitch, is subscribe and follow all the socials. We got Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and check out the Patreon for other videos too that I can't put on YouTube. But anyways, let's get right into Blood Sucker Vein Fuck like That's just two out of the whole album. I know the rest are about to be bops too. How long is the album even? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Guts. And also, make sure y'all are voting. I know that you know that I'm a Taylor Swift stan and I love me some uh, Lana Del Rey. However, the VMAs this year are like, the, the pop girlies own the VMAs this year. And Olivia is nominated for a bunch of different categories. So make sure you're voting um, for the good sis. But anyways, where's the dang album? We've got Guts. Scott! Why am I nervous? High School Musical. Yeah, I'm glad we left those days behind. Um, here we go. Okay, so we've got all oh, oh. the energy's already All American Bitch is track number one. Followed up by Bad Idea, right? So Sour was about heartbreak and how I'm still not over you and I'm vengeful and angry. And now we're that girl, and we realize we're that girl with guts. I wanna rip your guts out. I this is about to be everything. All American Bitch, Bad Idea Right, Vampire, Lacey. Who's Lacey? Ballad of, oh God. Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. Anyway, Making the Bed, Logical, Get Him Back with exclamation point. That one's gonna be scary. Explicit version too, ooh God. Love is Embarrassing, Indeed. The Grudge. Oh God. We just reacted to Doja Cat Demons. I feel like the grudge is gonna be on some like spooky dark shit. Like a lot of bass, a lot of guitar. Like, I'm excited for this one. Pretty isn't pretty. Oh God. Teenage Dream, no Katy Perry. Um, so yeah, we've heard two out of the two out of the entire album already with Vampire and Bad Idea Right. Both were bops. Okay, let's get right into it. So there's a total of 12 tracks. Well, we already heard two, so we're gonna react to the other 10. First up, we've got All American Bitch. Here we go. Oh, God. Man, I. Oh! I thought we were about to be slaying people with our energy, knowing that we're, that, we're those girls. But it's giving cottage core in like New Hampshire. Let's see, let's see. Folklore? Evermore. I pay attention to things that most people ignore. Same, overthinking. I'm all right with movies that make jokes about senseless cruelty, that's for sure. Oi! I, I was I was just about to pause and talk about Myrtle Beach again because it's like my mind is going back to like that feeling of just sitting on the beach and the song is kind of comforting 
But now, what are you doing? Because I heard that little riff with those guitar strings. Oh, sheesh. I knew it. I knew she was going to come with something. It's Olivia Rodrigo. Come on now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here we go. She is bringing back like 90s pop punk like and that's why I didn't even listen to the bam the uh, Baboons that were saying bad idea, right? Is not it. Yes I know like if you Basically if you grew up in the 90s, you get it if you grew up in the early 2000s, you get it It's the same vibe. I even mentioned whenever we reacted to why are my eyes closed? I mentioned when we reacted to the music video shoes. Oh my god shoes if, let's get some shoes. If you don't know what I'm referencing, then I don't think that you would, you won't get the song. It's the vibe, the vibe. If you get it, you get it. If you know, you know. If you don't, I'm sorry. Yeah. Amer All American bitch, yeah! Mm. Oh my. You know, at first I didn't really like the slowdown, like the, cause I thought that's what the whole song was about to be. And I was like, what is this? However, it like, it's, it's a good mix between both. Like it's a jump up, then it'll relax. And then it's like, it's a groove, you know? But I like what she said. I, I know my age and I act like it. Like, I don't know. I think this is just, just a, a good girl song. This is a good girl song. Like she knows she's that girl. I got braids, so I don't brush my hair. She said, my femininity and me being me is what you can't resist. This is a, I'm that girl. This is a self-confidence booster song for sure. This is track one. She chose this song to open the album. The track one is like such a special spot because it's either like a, um, like it's a, it's the transitional song. It sets the tone for the album. People sometimes use track one as like an interlude or, you know, whatever, but it sets the tone. And then obviously we know the next song is Bad Idea, right? Then Vampire. She was, that studio was on fire whenever she recorded this damn album. For the first, let me drink my orange. Are you an orange juice girl or an apple juice girl? Or a guy? Whatever you identify as. Let me know, orange juice or apple juice? But the first three tracks to be bops, I'm, I'm excited for the rest of the album. <laughs> this song is just beautiful. Talking about I'm that girl, I just making normal things like Make, she says it in a way that it's like so nice. She's talking about her lips, her white hips, you know, femininity. I'm that girl. I'm a like eternal optimist. This is such a feel good song. I love everything about All American Bitch. I'm sexy and I'm kind. I'm pretty when I cry. Oh, all the time. She's gonna make me cry with that line. I'm pretty when I cry. 
No, this is a self-confidence booster for sure. This is a self-love song. I think this, we're track one. I think this may be my favorite song on the album though. Just the message behind it is so beautiful. I can't, wow. All the time, I'm grateful all the time. I'm sexy and I'm kind. I'm pretty when I cry. Fuck. Am I? That transition. Oh God. Olivia. She was cooking in that studio. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a, it's got, mm -hmm. it's about to be one of those. Jesus Christ. Track one. Y'all heard the little footsteps to the door. You open it or you knock, then you open it, gentlemen. Um, and then we lead into bad idea, right? I'm just gonna click on bad idea right just to hear the transition. Oh, there isn't one. Okay, regardless though, that transition from all American bitch to bad idea right, that was, I love that. We all know blood sucker, fame fucker, team Edward till I die. Next up, we've got Lacey. And she, she always makes me think it's gonna be a ballad, but then she comes back with like this high energy stuff. So I'm, I'm not counting it out yet, Lacey. Y'all know I don't like ballads. Lacey, oh, Lacey, skin like puff pastry. Aren't you the sweetest thing on this side of hell? Dear angel Lacey, I- Talking about this side of hell, meaning I think just earth and life then goes and calls her an angel. That's really cool. Why does daisies, do I ever tell you that I'm not doing well? Ooh, I care, I care, I care. Like perfume that you wear, I linger all the time. Watching hidden in plain sight. Ooh, I try, I try, I try. But it takes over. Oh my. So homegirl's just jealous of Lacey? Like, it's giving jealousy, but it's jealousy, jealousy! But it's also giving, like, she's enamored by and looks up to Lacey. Like, I can't tell if it's jealousy or, like, admiration. I feel like it's it's giving both. Cause like she starts the song complimenting Lacey and talking about how all, all her beautiful features. And then she ends it with kind of like this yearning, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's keep listening. Yeah, what? You complimenting me is like bullets to my skin. Then the next bar, you're the best thing to ever exist. Homegirl, are you bipolar? Therapy, expeditiously, please. What? Your compliments are like bullets to the skin. You're the best thing that's ever existed. That's insane. <laughs> that is wild to write. Olivia. I care. I care. I care. You got the one thing that I want. Don't tell me that this is all about a boy. You belong with me, but psychotic version, basically. Ooh, I try, I try, I try, try to rationalize people or people, but it's like you're made of angels. Dust? Now I see why y'all were blowing up my notifications.
Nation is talking about. React to the album favorite right now. Every song is a bop. And these transitions, whether it be in the middle by the bridge or the to lead into the next song, these transitional moments are so good. Like I, I, I don't want you to think that I'm a dick writing right now. Seriously, I'm not. I've said from the very beginning, I don't like ballads. And every time she like intros a song with a ballad, I'm like skeptical. But I know it's Olivia, so therefore I'm still open to it. And this is why moments like this. I don't know. I just feel like I'm at the beach with this album so far, and like. I love that it's a self-love, self-confidence type of, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I'm like, I was about to tear up there for a second. You're not getting a tear out of me. To fucking Lacey. I was in my vibe. I was ascending. <sighs> like, oh, that that part was heavenly. Forget Lacey's Angel Dust, bitch. You put Angel Dust in that that part of the song. That was so good. Oh God. She took me to heaven, then brought me back to the hell. Like you're out to get me. Girl, leave Lacey alone. Lacey ain't did shit to you. You're the one bothering Lacey. Lacey's out to get me. Lacey doesn't even know your name. Leave Lacey alone. This is a, a this is a one way battle. It's a, it seems like Lacey just out here being the angelic ribbon wearing girly daffodil skin or whatever the heck she said. And you're bothering Lacey. See, it's like you're out to get me. You poison every little thing that I do. Babe, I think that's the mental illness. I'm not talking about Olivia specifically, but there are some crazy girls or just people in general out there that will relate to this part. And it's like, the world is against me. No, it's not. Relax. Therapy. Therapy. Lacey, oh Lacey, I just loathe you lately. And I despise my jealous eyes and how hard they fell for you. What did I freaking say? This entire song is just about, she wants to be Lacey. Talking about Lacey's out here poisoning everything around. No, she's, I knew it. I called it from the freaking very beginning. Leave Lacey alone. Leave Lacey alone. Harassment. I love that she like explains though at the end, like, She's kind of just hinting at it and everything is an innuendo. But then at the end, she finally explicitly says, I'm jealous of Lacey. Thank you, girl, we could tell. Thank you for letting us know though. I'm, the self-reflection is beautiful. Just loathe you lately. And I loathe you lately. My jealous eyes and how hard they fell for you. Yeah, I despise my rotten mind and how much it worships you. Dang, but that must suck though. That's an internal battle I don't ever want to experience. Like you're jealous of this girl, but you also admire the the heck out of her. Ah, that's that's that that's an internal hell for sure. What? How did she end that? Let's listen. Her writing. We haven't even talked about the writing. Like her, she's a she's telling a perfect story. She like uses metaphors and like makes it to where you have to think about what she's saying and um, div divulge the meaning, and then just the way she says stuff. Like, instead of just blatantly saying, like, hey, this song has just been about me being a jealous bitch and Lacey's a bad bitch and I want to be that. Like, she says it so beautifully. Almost Shakespearean. Lately, and I despise my jealous eyes and how hard they fell for you. Yeah, I despise my rotten mind and how much it worships you. Wow, Lacey's a 10 out of 10 too. We're four for four, no Wendy's. We're four, seriously, four back-to-back -back songs, Bob's. This album, this, oh my God, is, no, 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 no. I was about to say, is this better than Sour? Or, yeah, Sour, no. 
sour first of all it was the introduction to olivia rodrigo therefore it will always be on a pedestal for me but guts guts is good four four tracks in guts is there, there's not a skip so far um but yeah again back to the writing in fact did she write this who wrote this um show credits performed by two people on this song daniel negro okay and then olivia rodrigo i think that says olivia is that girl she's that girl you can't say anything bad about olivia rodrigo next up we've got ballad of a homeschooled girl she says it's a ballad but i'm sure there will be a transitional moment let's see ah! <laughs> olivia you've got a fan in me girl forever That guitar. I'm on the outside with the greatest inside joke. And I hate all my clothes. Feels like my skin doesn't fit right over my bones. So I guess. It feels like my uh, clothes don't. F what? My skin doesn't feel right over my bones. Jesus. Oh, that's, that's rough. Feels like my skin doesn't fit right over my bones. So I guess. Just being an anxious, awkward person, basically, this song's about. Every time I go outside, it's social suicide. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't, I'm, listen, I'm good. Mentally, physically, emotionally, questionable. But everywhere else, I'm good, right? So don't get these tearful moments as, like, I'm going through it. I'm not. I'm just thinking about, like, past favor, favor previous favor. Moments when these songs really would have been great to have in certain moments. And that, like, just remembering where I was is what's making me emotional with some of these songs. She said going outside is social suicide. Y'all don't really know much about my um, growing up or where I come from because I don't really get very personal on the channel. However, there's been moments when I've, I've related to that and I, I just got reminded of it. it. It's very, it's painful, but we move on. We move on. <laughs> no, I said you weren't gonna get it here yet. Here I am. Oh, God. God. I need a moment. Hold on. Okay, we're back. I'm good. I'm good. Jesus Christ. If you see eye boogers, ignore them. Okay. Jesus. This song though. What the fuck? Rapping now? We're rapping now? Laughs the wrong time, sat with the wrong guy, searching how to start a conversation on the website. I talked to the top guy, swore it was his type, guess that he was making out with boys in the whole night. Everything I do is <laughs> Olivia's, I love her. Her writing. I swore it was his type, guess that he was making out with boys in the whole night. Everything I do is tragic. Every girl I like is gay. How is your type is gay men? 
Maybe she just has bad gaydar. You can't. Maybe she just has no gaydar. Because if it's a more than once occurrence, I fear the problem is you. The gay men, they're they're very. They know how to put themselves together. That's why. They're very attractive. How the fuck do I already know the words to this damn song? This is stream number one, bitch. This song is about to have me in a chokehold. Ballad of a homeschool girl. I wasn't even homeschooled. I went to public school my whole life in a PWI community. Um, however, I relate maybe too much to this song. Not the gay men thing. Like, I have gaydar. But everything else, I, 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 I connect with. This song is so good. Cool transition too. Back to the fast rhythm. What with the wife? Not a home wrecker now, huh? Caught you with your wife. way man what she didn't she did she did she did I just heard it can't think of a third line la, 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 la. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> how am I gonna get through the rest of this album guys seriously what the fuck can't think of a third line la, 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 la. <laughs> I, I'm here and I gotta hear that again. That's crazy. This album. Someone is on the chopping block again. One of you does not have what it takes to be America's next top model. And the summer. Just for violet chemistry, you're staying. You're Lana Del Rey, so I that's that says enough. Midnight's SZA, Control, Taylor Swift. Or do we get rid of my YouTube plaque? I mean, I can't do that. That's ridiculous. Twilight, Stephanie Meyer. You kind of made me who I am, though. Do I just get a second shelf? Low key. Ugh. Portals. I'll never get it. Billy. Sorry, bitch. Okay. Make room for sour. <laughs> no. 
Guts. Sorry. Is that my subconscious telling me to buy both? <sighs> la 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 la! <laughs> I can't believe she did that. Oh my god. Okay, I want to hear it again. She's, she's everything. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did she say fold around with your wife? How you got gay, no gaydar, but you're fooling with people's wives. so good <laughs> I can't believe she said that <laughs> I'm gonna cry again oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> relax relax okay we got like five more six more songs to get through Ooh, this album is so good. La 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 la. <laughs> uh, I'm so I have to go shopping in like an hour. Me and my best friend are going shopping for Renaissance. Ugh. La 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 la. Okay, get it together. We're good. We're good. We're good. All American bitch, bad idea, right? Vampire, lacy, ballad of a homeschool girl. Five tracks in. There's not a skip. There's not a single skip. Olivia, I don't know what, like what you were doing in that casting spells, bitch, you had to, cause this, this has to be some witchcraft. And it's not even like every song is good. Like these songs are great. Like genuinely, it's not like you have to like, sure. You know, when I do my ranking videos after I do album reactions, um, let's just say so far the, the bottom row of the tier list is gonna be empty. Cause if this is what she's giving the whole freaking time, again, we still have like five or six, seven songs to get through. But this this is about to be the best ranking for an album I've ever done on the channel. But anyways, uh, look forward to that video. But we've got Making the Bed now. Is it giving morning after? Is it just trying to have a good morning routine for TikTok? It could go either way with Olivia, so let's see. Oh God. She's very rock girl lately. What the? Want it so I got it. Did it so it's done. Period. Want it so I got it. No, Ariana. Want it so I got it. Did it so it's done. Another thing I ruined. I used to do for fun. Another piece of plastic I could just throw away. Another conversation with nothing good to say. I thought it so I said it. Took it cause I can. Another day pretending. Older than I am Another perfect moment that Doesn't feel like mine Another thing I forced to be a sign oh. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to be Where I am getting drunk At a club with my favorite Oh fuck This is a Oh god This is a deep one Literally just everything she just said Jesus Christ Be where I am getting drunk At a club
all these problems and bad things that are happening around me or that I feel are happening are the fault of my own. Like I, I'm the one causing it all to happen. Like another like self-reflection, you're not always the victim. You're not innocent in every situation, which yeah. I think a lot of us, like all of us really have, I'm sure there's been moments where you're like, no, everyone else, it's everyone else's fault. But I don't know, I think maturing is realizing that you in every situation also have a role to play or like influence something negatively in some way, every situation. you There's something you could have did better um, to change the outcome. But I don't think we're always ready to acknowledge that. I love her metaphors. Every night I wake up, just one current dream. I'm driving through the city, the brakes go out on me. I can't stop at the red light, can't swerve off the road. Oh my god, she's not her metaphors are crazy on this one. She's not actually talking about how she ran a red light and like her brakes went out. Like this is just she's emotionally a wrecking ball. Like she there's no stopping her. She was just full force ahead as a person. Like she couldn't control herself. But it's like a metaphor, you know? Her writing, did she write this? I'm sure she did. She she probably did, let's see though. Um, yeah, okay, Olivia, you need to keep Daniel on the payroll. Like keep Mans around. Let's see if he had anything to do with Ballad of a homeschool girl. Yeah, Olivia, I need you to put him in your basement. Shackle him to the wall. You cannot get rid of this man. Please, he, you and him are a perfect team. Daniel, yeah. I can't stop at the red light, can't swerve off the road. But somewhere it's cause my life feels so out of control. Now tell someone I love them. Oh yeah. Distraction. The layered. They love me like I'm some tourist attraction. They're changing my machinery and I just let it happen. I got the things I wanted, it's just not what I imagined. But sometimes I feel Oh God, I've got what I've wanted. It's just not what I imagined. They tell me, oh my God, they tell me they love me like I'm a tourist attraction. You're talking about the fans? Oh, no, I gotta rehear that. That She was she was being real there. The hold on, hold on, go back. Every night I wake up, just want a current dream. Driving through the city. Breaks go out on me. That's giving, if your dreams are you not having breaks in your car, that's like stress, anxiety. You've got a lot of, you need to like release that stress off from your body. Like it's entering your subconscious now. Yeah, take a break, relax. This goes for everyone. Like if, you, if your dreams start to get hectic and you can't sleep, you, you've got it, something's got to give. Can't stop at the red light, can't swerve off the road. But somewhere it's cause my life feels so out of control. Yeah. You tell someone I love them, just as a distraction. You tell me that they love me like I'm some tourist attraction. They're changing my machinery and I just let it happen. I got the things I wanted, it's just not what I imagined. But sometimes I feel like I don't. away all the people who know me the best no I because I've never actually considered to like the people it's it's must be so weird like the pe this is just for every celebrity in general the people who know the person before they became the person you know that's crazy no, like I'm thinking of Ice Spice. She just blew up this, like the past two years, right? But she's what, in her 20s? So what about the first 15 years of her life? Like all the people who knew Ice Spice when she was just a girl in the Bronx. And now she's freaking Ice Spice, Princess Diana. You know?
No, I I was so wrong in the beginning about my interpretation of making the bed. She's talking about how the famous like she doesn't know if this is what she wants and like it's not what she expected it to be. But she's saying, well, I was the one making the bed. Like I was the one going in the studio, going to those auditions, you know, trying to become famous. Like I was the one making the bed. So how am I now mad at myself? And like, why am I playing the victim when I'm the one who made myself be in this position? Like I made myself become Olivia Rodrigo. Wow. <clears throat> her pen, her quill, typewriter. I don't know, she's, the writing is crazy. It's, that's crazy, that's a crazy metaphor. It's me who's been making the bed. Like no one told you to go audition for a high school musical, you did that on your own. No one told you to book those studio appointments, you did that on your own. She was making her own bed. So now that everyone's like, wait, girl, you're like talented and a star. How can you play the victim is basically what she's trying to say. When you're the one, you, you did all that yourself. <laughs> she's, this album is so good. How do we go from Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl to Making the Bed? Like that's a whiplash of emotions. Jesus Christ. No, but that song's, that's, that song is so deep. And I could kind of tell from the way that she started the song that it was gonna be a like meaningful one, but again, like the gymnastics you kind of have to go through to understand what she's saying. She's such a good writer. Next up, we've got Logical. A lot of religious references too, like an angel, heaven, hell, comparing earth to being with someone as heaven and hell, like, huh. Savior, and I'd put myself through hell for you, hear all the rumors lately that you always deny. Mm. And I fell for you like water. From the February sky, but now the current strong. I felt for you like water falls from the February sky. Very sky, but now the current stronger. No, I couldn't get out if I tried, but you convinced me, baby. It was all in my mind. Mm. And now you got me thinking two plus two. So it's like girl knows better but she's been manipulated into the point where she questions her own mind and she just believes whatever he says is right logical like he's embedded himself so much into her brain that homegirl's not even like rational anymore you better 
built a giant castle with walls so high I couldn't see the way it all unraveled and all the things you did to me. The imagery there is crazy because I can actually like see her trying to claw out of like the walls, you know, like climb over them. You lied, you lied, you lied. Oh, and now you got me thinking too. Oh God. Oh God. I think we're at like a turning point to where lot logical is like not necessarily what he says anymore and she's starting to believe in herself. Especially that, that line where she was like, I'm sure that girl was just her friend. Cause at this point she hasn't said anything directly about like what happened. Like everything was just a, a nuance or a general, like there's problems here. But I, there's a turn happening now in the song, I feel like. You could have instead said I was too young, I was too soft. Can't take a joke, can't get you off. But why do I do this? Oh god, the second half is raw. It's like very real. I look so stupid thinking two plus two. This song is painful. Logical, logical, love's never logical. I know I'm half responsible, and that makes me feel horrible. Logical, logical, love's never logical. I know I could have stopped it all. God, why didn't I stop it all? Logical. That's sad. Now she's left with regret and feeling like she's to blame. This, the like mental gymnastics she's going through, are, it's painful. This whole song is just painful. Logical, love is never logical. I know I'm half responsible. And that makes me feel horrible. Logical, logical, love is never logical. I know I could have stopped it all. God, why didn't I stop it all? God dang it. This is the first song where I ended it not fearing, feeling very well. Like, I could feel her pain through the song, you know? Wow. Ow. That song, that song, <laughs> that's scary. That logical scary. That one's painful. Again, I, it just takes me back to her writing that you can actually feel like how she was feeling and it takes you back to that the moments that she you weren't even in the relationship but yet you can you feel like you can see like everything happening in real time like you can feel her emotions or maybe i'm just an empath <laughs> i'm joking uh get him back here we go what i met a guy in the summer and i left <laughs> The emotional whiplash she's giving me. We went from logical, he was sleeping around, now I'm heartbroken and I hate myself, to this? One, two, three. Wait, is this a song for drums? I met a guy in the summer and I left him in the spring. He mm. argued with me about everything. He yeah. had an ego and a temper and a wandering eye. Oh. Six foot two and I'm like, dude, nice try. 
Jeez, we're back on our bad bitch shit. We're slaying these dudes once again. From what you say, summer to spring, spring to summer. I don't care about the season, bitch. It's a whole year thing. She said we're back. 6-2? Yeah, right. Oh, God. This one just sounds... Okay, keep him. When he did something wrong, he'd just fly me to France. All's forgiven. I I like I like this one. Just the, the 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 grunginess of this one. This one is like hearty. It feels like I'm eating a steak. You know? This one's really good. This, let's not this song is toxic in all ways shapes and forms it's still a bop though so I I'll still be streaming Knows. She just knows what sounds good, what to do. She just knows. Therapy. Daniel, I swear to God. Producer, who are you? Oh, we got more producers this time. Daniel, Alexander23, and Ian Kirkpatrick. But still, Daniel, my boy. You're a king! You're a king! Indeed! I am my I am my father's daughter, so maybe I could fix him. This cause I didn't have a father. My in fact he's dead. So I didn't really get the whole oh I'll teach you how to change your oil son or you know that type of stuff how do you work a wrench let me show you billy i didn't get that so i think that's what she's talking about however i couldn't tell you like 100 percent because i didn't experience it anyway get him back Can you imagine though? Just uh, just vibe into that. I want to make him jealous. I want to um, make him sad, or whatever she said. Like just bopping to that is that's crazy. No, that's that's wild. <laughs> oh, I love music. Break his heart and be the one to stitch it up. Wanna kiss his face with an uppercut. I wanna meet his mom. Then run her over with your car? What? Just to tell her her son sucks. I wanna key his car. I wanna make him lunch. I wanna break. I want to key his car. I want to make him lunch. Girl. Therapy. As, oh my god. His car. I want to make him lunch. I want to break his heart. Stitch it right back up. I want to kiss his face with an uppercut. I want to meet his mom and tell her her son sucks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Another moment of what I said, she just knows what's to do. You're not about to hit us with the acapella hand clap. I wanna get him back. I haven't heard something, I haven't heard this in like, since I don't even know when. But this is like a old, um, I don't even know, tool? Guitar. We're nine tracks in and there's still no skip. Wow. Oh my God. Love is embarrassing. Here we go. Hello? What's wrong with you? Can't play the current song. Bitch, you better. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a maniac, me.
relax, guitarist. Jesus. Um. Let's let's um. Jesus. He t whoa. We've talked about everything. I feel like except for obviously the 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 band. Whoever the band members are. I'd give you a standing ovation, but I'm lazy. The guitarist, the drums, like they even one guy had a cameo in the intro of um, get, get Him Back. Like y'all are y'all are doing a great job as well as Daniel. Next up, we've got The Grudge, which is one that I said I was afraid to listen to. Let's see if it um, holds expectations. Wait, it's Olivia. How are you gonna call the grudge and then give me this? I want like <clears throat> bass. If nightmares each week about that Friday and <sighs> Oh god, okay, okay. Hold on. I, I, I it's Olivia. Remember that favor. One phone call from you and my entire world was changed. Trust that you betrayed. Too much power. Confusion that still lingers. Took everything I loved and crushed it in between your fingers. Not Too much power, I Olivia. Think about the damage that you did, but I hold on to every detail like my life depends on it. That's what this. Everything she's saying is why I'm like, it's important to keep your independence even when within a relationship. No one should have that much freaking power over you. She said that he was clutching her emotions in the palm of his hand and crushing them. Like, girl. Oh, God. Like, you've lost yourself at that point. If someone's really able to control your emotions, what you think, like, come on, guys. Get, get it together, please. It's embarrassing. My undying love. It like a grudge. Now I hear your voice every time that I think I'm not enough. And I try to be tough, but I wanna scream. How could anybody do the things you did so easily? And I say I don't care. I say that I'm fine, but you know I can't let it go. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried for so long. It takes strength to forgive, but I don't feel strong. Holding a grudge. The arguments that I've won against you in my head and the God. But this holding the grudge isn't hurting any like that guy doesn't care. You still thinking about it and harboring on those like past feelings, that's just hurting you in the end. Let go of that grudge. You've got to. Like you're literally only <clears throat> hurting yourself. Hour in the car and in the mirror before bed. <coughs> yeah, I'm so tough when I'm alone. Now make you feel so guilty and I fantasize about a time you're a little fucking sorry and I try to understand why you would do this all to me. You must be insecure, you must be so unhappy. Not knowing my heart hurt people, hurt people, and we both drew blood, but man, those cuts were never equal and I try her writing. I don't even have to check the credits. I don't even need to check them. I know it's Olivia. Her freaking writing. So good. Be tough, but I want to scream. How could anybody do the things you did so easily? And I say I don't care. I say that I'm fine. But you know I can't let it go. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried for so long. It takes strength to forgive, but I don't feel strong. Why, but this part makes me want to go watch Twilight. You know, it's <laughs> like I just thought of that for whatever ADHD, probably undiagnosed. Try harder, girl! The fuck? It takes strength to forgive, but I'm not quite sure I'm there yet. Mm. It takes strength to forgive, but. Mm. 
No, fuck that. If you can give me Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl, Get Him Back, um, Bad Idea, Right, and Vampire, All American Bitch. You started this album off with All American Bitch, and now you're talking, I'm not strong. I'm heartbroken, and I'm going to stay heartbroken. Shut the f- Get up. Are you kidding? If you can write All American Bitch, you can get over this man. You are strong. What are you talking about? Come on. Remember who you are. Please. You're a freaking Olivia Rodrigo talking about, I'm, I don't feel strong. I'm not strong enough to get over. You are, you are much stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. Next up, we got Pretty Isn't Pretty. If this is another freaking Lacey song, I'm going to tell her to file a restraining order. Because, huh? like beachy vibe songs this album you're either heartbroken you're either headbanging or you're vibing on the coast of california there's a mix of all three Oh God, it's giving eating disorder and self-hate. Fuck. I thought we were vibing. <sighs> oh God, oh God. Pretty isn't pretty. It's gonna be a self-hate song. God, she gave us self-love, now she's giving us, I mean, representation is important. Cause I'm sure we everyone can relate to one song on this album at least. Dang it. Oh, this one's gonna hurt. Bought a new prescription to try and stay calm. Cause there's always something missing. There's always something in the mirror that I think looks wrong. Pretty is it pretty enough? What do you do? Everybody's keeping it up. These songs are so important though. Like I can, I mean, I, I make jokes about like, oh, I don't, this is gonna be sad. I don't wanna listen to this. But these songs genuinely, they're very, very important. Cause I know that there's someone out there that can relate to this song and this song's gonna help. Pretty, like if Olivia Rodrigo can feel the same way I'm feeling, then I'm not alone, one, but two, I, I can start feeling like this is normal and I can start working like towards getting better or like thinking of myself better, you know? If like, if your idol is Olivia Rodrigo and you can see even she feels this way, that may make you feel in a twisted way a little better, you know? These songs, they're very important. Like it's not just a little, this isn't just a teenage girl fun album. These, these songs are important. Like I can't stress that enough. I love this song. <clears throat> like to me, I'm interpreting what she's saying is like, you can buy all the makeup, you can get all the lip injections, you can get all the BBLs, you can change yourself so much that you don't even recognize yourself. But regardless, you're going to find, un until you like get deep rooted into yourself and figure out why are you feeling this way and how do I fix that? Like you, you can run from yourself so much that you change your entire appearance, but you're still gonna just be running. Like there will never be an end until you fix what's on the inside of yourself. Like until you fix your the way you think about yourself. Changing yourself, doing all the makeup, buying all the different clothes, changing your environment even is not going to, you're just running away from yourself. You're not actually solving the problem. Pretty isn't pretty because you're not actually fixing like the way you're thinking of yourself. <laughs> Exactly. Wow. 
oh my god, her writing. I feel like this whole reaction, I've just been like, her writing, her writing, her writing, her writing. She's literally talking, like again, it's not just gonna be like, oh, I don't like my nose. It's gonna be like, that's gonna trickle down into the people you date. Oh, you don't like your Afrocentric nose? Well, that's probably why you date white boys. You know, things like that. I'm just using that as an example. But it's going to, that, that hate is going to ooze out into everything else around you and start affecting everything around you. You've got to fix it on the inside. So you think it's you? Literally. She said it's just gonna be over and over and over again. Cause trends are never gonna stop. You've you've just gotta love yourself for what you are and what you have. Everyone has their own story. Why are you trying to be like the next bitch? The next bitch doesn't even want to be like the next bitch. You know? Be you. That's what makes you cool. You are the only person who will ever be you, look like you, act like you, think like you. So have some like faith in that. Like be proud of that. Like, I know I get on here and say some dumb ass shit all the time. I make crazy facial expressions, but guess what? What other girl do you know that's doing the same thing like I do? Like, that's why, not to toot my own horn, but that's why I'm about to hit 200K, subscribe. Because like, I got on here and I'm myself, and I guess you're watching me at this point. We're, ha we're an hour into this video at the end of the album and you're still watching me, you know? Be proud of that. There's, I'm sure someone that's gonna comment something like, favor, you're annoying, I hate your reactions, you pause too much, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, I have almost 200,000 subscribers, you know? So it doesn't matter what the outside world is saying. As long as in here you know that, like you're, you're secure with yourself, that's all that matters. Don't go out here and get those hoof Ugg boots just because they're, tr they're trendy right now. Because next summer you're gonna hate them and have to get another boot. You see, like, you, you, you understand? That's all. This is such a good song. I didn't want that one to end. That one's a really good song. And it, it's with a great message. But last up, we've got Teenage Dream. You think I'm pretty without any makeup bone. Let's see. So last track, we started the album with All American Bitch and now we're ending it with Teenage Dream. Placement is important. When am I gonna stop being wise beyond my years and just start being wise? When am I gonna stop being a pretty young thing that guys? Whoa. When am I gonna stop being wise beyond my. Oh god. Is this an age song? Oh God, the song's called Teenage Dream. Oh God, I'm calling it now. I think it's gonna be about like grooming, predatory um, relations. Jesus Christ. We're, we're ending it like this. Oh, you're not mature. He just wants to get in your pants, homie. A 40 year old man is not looking at you because you're mature. Dang it. She said, why am I, when will I just be, what, what did she say? When will I stop being wise beyond my years and just be wise? We're running it back. Cause she's about to talk her stuff. 
When am I gonna stop being wise beyond my ears and just start being wise? When am I gonna stop being a pretty young thing that guys? I mean, look at Leonardo DiCaprio. He's like pushing 50. I don't, I think it's safe to say guys like that are always gonna be guys like that. When am I gonna stop being great for my age? And just start being good. When will it stop being cool to be quietly misunderstood? I'll blow out the candles, happy birthday to me. Cause you're. Hey Siri! When is Olivia Rodrigo's birthday? Olivia Rodrigo was oh. born February 20th, 2003? 2003. And is 20 years old. People were born in the 2000s. That's wild. Anyways, um, yeah. I thought this had to do with her birthday or something. No, she was born in February. All life ahead of you, you're only 19. Ah! Oh. But I fear that they already got Best parts of me. No, girl. And I'm sorry that I couldn't always be your teenage. No! Blah, 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 blah. Get that out of your head. Like, there's been so many different artists Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, uh, Madonna, Lady Gaga, who have, like, shown that you can, and especially as a female, because, like, we have, you know, well, that's a whole different conversation, but you have so many different expectations just being a woman. Um, in the industry but they've shown that you can have a sustainable decade old career you know even selena gomez she's been acting since she was a child and now she's making music too and still like in both scenes she's just you know rerouted with weird beauty she's still acting she's making music still like you know olivia you have a huge career ahead of you like decades i, I pray because you're so talented oh god <clears throat> When does wide-eyed affection and all good intentions start to not be enough? And will everyone have every reason to call on my bluff? When are all my excuses of learning? But guess what? When that happens, Olivia, that's when you turn around and give us a reputation album. So and the moment you feel like people are turning their back on you, come back with All American Bitch Part 2. And trust, they'll be sat. See what they're doing to Doja Cat, but those bitches are still streaming. The internet and people are so fickle. Pay them no mind. Just be true to yourself. At the end of the day, people, all you have in this world is yourself. So as long as you're secure with that, happy with that, find yourself like worth it, that's all that matters. Everything else will fall into place. And if it doesn't, fuck it. My lesson's gonna start to feel sad Will I spend all the rest of my years wishing I could go it's about getting older too. This is birthday me. Got your whole life ahead of you. You're only 19. But I fear that they already got all the best parts of me. And I'm sorry that I couldn't always be your teenage dream. Please, 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 please. Okay, God, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Have you seen Hoodwinked? I love that movie. But um, I was thinking even the other day, I was like, dang, I didn't appreciate like my teenage years, my adolescent years, even my early 20s. Because at this point I'm 24, Colviana took 22 to 24 from me, like some of the best years of your 20s. Like I've lost all that time. And I was like, why, why do I think that, why can I not make now the best time in my life too? Like I, I was reminiscing on like things that I've done. I've traveled, I've made YouTube, I've made friends, I've, you know, all these, this stuff. And I was like, wow, my life was so good back then. But why can't your life be good now? And I just, I shut up. My brain stopped thinking that, you know, because it's true. I think that's what Olivia is saying too. But I, I don't know, the song and what she's saying made me think back to that moment I was having with myself. They all say that it gets better, it gets better the more you grow. Yeah, they all say that it she 
you sing? To end the album with this is crazy. They all say that. Is that like, what do you even call that? Falsetto? Head voice? I don't know. But I'm, I haven't heard her sing like this before. Even in Blood Sucker! She wasn't singing like this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was thinking like she was talking about the transitional period from 19 to 20. Like you lose that teen, which I'm sure, like I even experienced that at one point. I'm sure that was like, not traumatic, but like a big, a big moment in your life, like a big transition. And now she's giving us the baby video. Oh god. Oh god, I'm not even gonna run it back for this one. This one's too much. <laughs> She's a psychopath. To end the album like that is, oh my. And then loops us back to All American Bitch. Actually, have like was this real? What the? F How was this album ripped my guts out? Like I see why she called it guts, cause it like it gets into you. Like this this album is like deep as freak. I I'm trying to I don't need to be cussing so much. Sorry. Um, family friendly. But this album seriously is like so deep. And the production, the band, Daniel. I, this was, I can't, I can't believe this. There's not a skip. 12 tracks, there's not a skip. And it's not like all the songs are good. Like you have those albums where this song is great, this song is good, this one's cool. I can get through this one. But every song on the, the every single song on Guts by Olivia Rodrigo is a bop. They're not good, they're bops. How am I gonna do a ranking video? How, oh God. I'm still thinking that that um that outro was that the bridge was I don't know what you would call it but that part was so crazy and I love that like because again I'm not a ballad girl but even the ballads have I the ballads have like just great lyricism that you're sat and you're listening to what she has to say or they have transitional moments to where the energy is just like overbearing and like you you just feel it you know 
I, I can't. This this album's ten for ten. Every there's not a skip on the album. Olivia has set the bar high. She's brought back pop punk from two thousand. Like what the heck? And I can't, I'm still thinking about made my bed or make the bed making the bed, like that song. That the meaning of that song is crazy. <laughs> like what the? Enough. So good. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, comment. Favor has juicy guts. I don't know something like that. Um, I'm about to go do the vlog for Renaissance because as you guys know, I think next week or the week after that, I'm going to Beyonce's Renaissance tour, which I will be vlogging. But today I have to vlog me going to the mall and finding my outfit. The theme is silver or something. So I don't even know where to shop, but I'll find something. Um, please help your girl get to 10K on TikTok. That is my goal for the summer and 15K on Instagram. And if you haven't yet subscribed, because I really want to get to 200K on this channel. And Olivia, I'm sure is going to drop more music videos. So obviously we're gonna be reacting to those too. We've done Vampire, we've done Bad Idea, right? Honestly, I could see her giving a music video for all of them. They're all, like again, they're all bops. Anyways, enough jibber jabber. Thank you for watching. Again, thanks. Just, I'm just, I'm in a feel good mood now with this album. Like I'm just gonna be streaming. One of the VMAs, cause Olivia, you better win some. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>